The wealth of medical info on the internet has become something of a double-edged scalpel. While hypochondriacs can quickly get in over their heads, a quick computer search brings millions the basics on almost any condition. And when that fails, Mayo Clinic researchers learned, social networking sites may be the place to begin unraveling medical mysteries. Here's Dennis Doda for Medical Edge. Everybody said, nope, you have two kids under two, you're fine, you know, just keep plugging along. But on April 30th, I had the classic heart attack symptoms. Catherine Leon of Alexandria, Virginia knew something was wrong. But even with crushing back and chest pain, shortness of breath and numbness in her arms, doctors at the hospital emergency room sent her home. No one really thought a 38-year-old woman could be having heart trouble. She could have died. Leon was experiencing SCAD, or spontaneous coronary artery dissection. Every artery in the body has several layers, and if there is a tear in one of the layers, that uh, then that can turn into a flap and the tear can spread. Blood can build up behind that flap, or the flap itself can block flow. A blocked coronary artery? That's a heart attack. Leon worried it might happen again. Yet, doctors told her it was so rare there was no research, so forget it. It always bothered me that the doctors were the ones telling me, get over it. Instead, Leon got serious about finding answers and finding other women with SCAD. So they could do a complete medical review of all of our records, see if they could find any similarities. Laura Haywood Corey of Durham, North Carolina had been through the same frustrating ordeal. She was one of dozens of patients Leon found online through the group Women Heart at the website inspire.com. Leon took her compilation of online patient cases to Mayo Clinic cardiologist Sharon Hayes, begging her to research SCAD, a condition that may not be so rare after all. Because I said it's not rare, right now on the Inspire board there are 68 active women who have SCAD and I have this all documented and I can show you. And we looked at this and we were excited because not only were we able to get uh, adequate and complete records from all of these patients, uh, we had four from uh, non-US, from New Zealand, Canada and England. Already much has been learned from Mayo Clinic's research. 70% of patients are women, one third of whom had their coronary artery tear shortly before or after having a baby. Researchers would like to know how hormonal changes, lifestyle behaviors, and family history affect our risk of SCAD. I think there are families that we've heard from whose loved ones have died from this condition, and we're trying to sort of out of a way to also include them into our study so that that information is not lost. Often, identifying and recruiting patients for research can be ploddingly slow. This example with SCAD has experts excited about the potential for social media to be a powerful new tool. I think there's this great pent-up energy among, uh, uh, among patients, especially those with rare conditions, that uh, they're itching for this kind of opportunity, and um, I think we're seeing the start of something that's going to be really big. Approval has now been granted to recruit up to 200 patients with SCAD. A virtual registry will be created to look at DNA markers for a biobank, allowing Mayo Clinic researchers to look for potential genetic connections, links, and causes. For Medical Edge, I'm Vivian Williams.